I've only been with one woman my entire life. And I've been with her for, for quite some time, but you still with it? Yes. And I've never shared this. And the reason being is I'm a person that, that's content. I don't want to entertain the divisiveness of energy. You only have X amount of time and energy in the day. So I want to make sure that the energy that I'm inputting is returning in some way, shape or form. People go on dates. Okay, what do you get from it? Okay, you get some pussy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, you get some exhilarating fun. Perfect. You also ruin some people's lives in the process. But what are you gaining from that? Okay, there might be some people have different philosophies. You can go pick up chicks. Or people can do whatever the fuck they want. Like, I honestly don't care. But I also know the level of distraction and the amount of effort that is required to be in that scene, to be doing those things. And to me, it's just not on my list of priorities. Not whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, it's just on my level of priorities that is so far down the totem pole mm. that a good thing at the wrong time can be a bad thing. It's like giving a razor to a baby and expecting the baby not to get cut. It's, the problem isn't the razor, the problem isn't the dating, the problem isn't the woman, maybe the problem is you. Mm. Maybe you're in a situation where you can't handle a relationship. Maybe you're in a situation where you need to focus on yourself. Maybe you're in a situation where you need to develop. You need to become a man. I, I have a friend who's um, <clears throat> he's in a similar situation. He like has no money, struggling to make money, but he's having the time of his life and he is in a relationship and he's also trying to pay for her as well. Yeah, it's, everything. It's fucking madness. And bro. he's like, he's, he's trapped. Absorbed. Yeah, he can't, he, he's living with her, spending far too, like just way too much time with her any money that comes in half of it has to go to her and then he doesn't get any time to himself to build something that's actually going to earn him money i think the, brother i think the important thing is number one boundaries people get into relationships and they assume that they have to be with somebody the entire day all day long dude i travel for four or five six months out of the out of the year by myself mm. do my own thing i don't need to be out here on a couch watching netflix hugging and cuddling every single day what the fuck is that bullshit i'm not i'm not doing that if so you look you, at you found someone who is stable brother that. because you set the parameters ahead of any sort of interaction and relationship setting mm. the boundaries and letting people know hey this is my life this is this what is, i do and and welcome to welcome welcome on board and if you're not on board like sorry but that's the name of the game and that doesn't mean i need to find 90 different girls 10 different girls that just means I need to understand what's my mission, what's my purpose, what's my priority. And based off of that spectrum, do, right? Like we talked about, obey that list of priorities that you're in.